Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flick Show. My name is Chris Wong. This is episode 566 of the Ping Pong Flick Show. Got uh, some information for you involving um, cuts, different cuts, and possibly a big event tomorrow that you should really, really pay attention to and help participate. But first, before that, I want to thank some new members of the Ping Pong Flick Show. Uh, this is an, I started a new membership uh, uh, thing that's down below where you can hit join, be part of the Ping Pong Flick Show. You'll receive some badges on your name. You can use some exclusive emojis and I'm, I'm constantly going to try to see if I can add to it. And um, also your comments in your YouTubes will be put on a separate page so I can go through it easier and actually spot out easier. Um, but for the most important part, I think it's uh, fantastic that um, you are supporting my channel. I am enter entirely grateful. I'm really, really grateful, grateful for that. Uh, and I want to thank right here the newest members, Brandon Hall, William Powell, and enter the uh, along again thank you to the other five that have joined in from the beginning especially the first krypton cage sickness david sheraton uh arif hussein and gm or george and uh thank you guys so much incredibly incredibly grateful uh for supporting my cha channel so thank you so much guys so but let's get on with the show the first things first is that soham Butterbar has released a new final trailer for the Justice Con. Uh, there's no new panels here, but it's a final trailer indeed. And um, it is right here. Of course, I'm not going to play the sound because it is copyrighted by WMG. It is the, it is, is the Wonder Woman theme. But here you can check out the graphics. It, it, I mean, this guy is really, really good at it. Really, really good at it. Really good at hyping it up. And you should be hyped. This is going to be something special. I know Nerd Queens and Wonder Meg are saying we're not prepared for Justice Con. I am stoked. I am hyped. This is going to be a big event uh, from the fans, for the fans, everyone, anybody who is even remotely um, supportive of Zack Snyder and his work. This is essentially Snyder Con 2.0 or virtual Snyder Con. If you support Zack Snyder, if you support the Snyder Cut, you are in invited to justice con it's free it's free it's on youtube and again the link to the justice con website is still in my description below visit the justice con uh youtube channel and hit click click subscribe ring that door uh, ring that bell for notifications for when the panels come up this coming weekend 25th 26th justice con see you there it is phenomenal i'm so hyped i can't wait it's gonna be so exciting exciting and it's, it's gonna be a great time a, a, a great celebration for post a snyder cut announcement so this is gonna be a fantastic fantastic show but because we're talking about the snyder cut uh there are a few things that uh, i just wanted to talk about maybe just play around with it with you guys right I'm thinking this, Bruce Wayne's missing dialogue in Justice League. Now, this could be nothing or it could be something, uh, but I feel like it may be something that Clay Staub is hinting at. Clay Staub is the second DP. Uh, he is uh, who, who shot the all the scenes in Iceland where Bruce Wayne is looking uh, for Aquaman, for Arthur Curry. And he, I noticed he said this, storm's coming. I think we'll stay here tonight. And it is a picture of Iceland where um, Bruce is. Now, I'm wondering, is that what he said when he was there, Clay himself, and there was a storm coming? Or is he actually reciting a line that Bruce says after touching down to this location and saying, hey, storm's coming, I think we'll stay here tonight. Or he's talking to his horse? Like, you know, I mean, I'm wondering if this is a missing dialogue that we didn't get the chance to hear in Justice League, but it will, will get a chance to see and hear in Zack Snyder's Justice League. So I thought that was a, a really cool little tidbit there, and I'm wondering if I'm right. But the other thing that is very interesting uh, to me is 
the fate of Wonder Woman in the nightmare future. Now, this just occurred to me after I saw Liz Wonder's phenomenal, phenomenal, right? Awesome. She is awesome at cosplay. She's a professional. She does it. She looks like gal. Like, I don't know what you mean. She looks like a, she looks like she's gal's twin sister. Like she can probably be a stunt woman for gal. If you wanted to a double for gal, right? So this is her nightmare wonder woman cosplay. Uh, it's a concept I wanted to have ready for justice con DC fandom. I dreamed that Ben Affleck sees it inspired by him and Zack Snyder from BVS. Uh, of course it all, and she tagged everybody here. So it, it's got the nightmare scenario in here with all the things in there with the Omega symbol. Uh, but you get wonder woman with the goggles, with the trench coat, with the, the lasso, right? And so I was like, well, I wonder, was she there? Was she there in the nightmare future? Uh, and then, you know, Garza had to, you know, burst our bubble, of course. For those wondering about Wonder Woman the Nightmare back in 2018, uh, he said this. Zack Snyder did say, no, she's not around at that point, which makes you probably believe now that she did not make it. Something happened uh, before the nightmare future happened where she she dies. Um, most likely, I think she's not around, so I, I'm guessing she dies. Uh, um, and uh, she does not end up at that point in time. So that is also something that's uh, very intriguing. I'm wondering how far we're going to get in Justice League. Are we going to get to the point where we do see the fate of Wonder Woman, um, you know, before... Uh, you know, before, you know, or after Justice League One or before Justice League One ends, you know, where are we going to see some of that? You know, that, 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 I want to see it. You know, I want to see where they end up with all these characters because essentially Wonder Woman's not there. We don't know what happens to Aquaman. And we know that, you know, Cyborg's there or parts of Cyborg's there. Uh, Flash is there. Batman is there, you know, and, and they're going to fight uh, an evil Superman. That's all pretty much all that's really confirmed at this point. Um, if that's changed, I don't know. But uh, the Wonder Woman aspect is she's a strong, she's a powerful character. So I'm, it's Dark Side must be a really hell of a, of course he is. So um, that part, I wonder if we're going to get to see it. Dark Side wrecking shop. And uh, pretty much decimating them. Or is it going to be like the parademons, right? Um, maybe they got like doomsday parademons, just like in Justice League Dark, uh, the, uh, the Apocalypse War. And um, if that's going to happen, that's pretty exciting in itself. I want to see how far, how hardcore it's going to be in Zack Snyder's Justice League, if at all. And hopefully we get to see that uh, future. Hopefully we get to see it continue on to two and three or however much parts uh, that uh, Zack Snyder wants to put out or is able to put out, right? So I, I'm very intrigued by that and um, wondering if this is in line with why Wonder Woman 3 or is it going to be connected at all? I don't know. So, um, But that got me thinking this picture, incredible, you know, Best of luck to her. There's there. You can go on the surveys right now and choose your winners for the hobbyists and um, and you know the the professionals in this cosplay contest. By the way, so I'm gonna leave that in the description below too as well for you to go check it out. So, um, but yeah, she's not around at that point, unfortunately. So, we're talking about cuts. We're talking about cuts. So, what's the biggest cut out there that's not in the current dceu and that is release the schumacher cut apparently the release the schumacher cut event has moved uh in order for another cut event to take its place and i'll get to that in a minute release the schumacher cut an rt schumacher cut there they have their own handle Announcement, the release to Schumacher Cut event that was supposed to be on Monday has now been pushed back a full week to July 27th, the day after San Diego Comic Con or the day after Justice Con. This will give us more time to market this event and make a big roar for the Red Book edition. Please share. Release the Schumacher Cut July 27th on Monday. And um, I will make sure... I will remind you again as we get closer 
um, um, to Monday, July 27th, so that you can, uh, if you would like to participate in this version, uh, a darker, uh, grittier, possibly, uh, version of Batman Forever with uh, scenes that we most people have not seen before. Um, so uh, justice for to be done to the late Joe Schumacher. Again, may you rest in peace. So that is the release of Schumacher cut. Like I said, that has been postponed, delayed in order to make a lot more noise for release the air cut of Suicide Squad. And what I mean by this uh, really is that um, there is a giant event tomorrow and actually even starts today if it's already July 20th for you. They are watching, okay? So RT Air Cut uh, has gotten some word that they are watching. Who possibly execs? So what they're trying to say is that this event is just like the Zack Snyder's Justice League release a Snyder Cut event that happened on November 17th. This equals that event on July 20th, which is tomorrow for America, but today for a lot of you, um, and to start at 8 a.m., by the way, I'll get to that in a minute, but release the air, hashtag release the air cut, hashtag OP squad with a K with a W-A-D, they are watching. They are implying that the possibly execs or, you know, the people involved in charge of releasing something to HBO Max, the same people who wanted to see if Zack Snyder's Justice League, the Snyder Cut, was worth investing in, worth releasing, is going to be watching tomorrow. July 20th, possibly Pacific Standard Time, I'm just saying. But July 20th, they are watching. So let's go hard tomorrow on this. And it's also as if in order to kind of just push us a little bit, a little bit further, right? We've got some great goodies from David Ayer in the past few two days, really, right? So David Ayer, he posted this picture of El Diablo, Jay Hernandez, right? So he posts a color picture right on Twitter as of giving off some signal saying this, right? Jay Hernandez does uh, interact with that and clicks and, and, you know, retweets that and says, no one but David Ayer movies would have the audacity to put this kind of character in a movie of this scale. Diablo is the people's champ. One of my favorite experiences in this biz was creating this devil with you. David Ayer says, you did so much work on this character. It was a joy to witness your journey with him. And for the folks at home, Diablo didn't die. Diablo didn't die. Didn't die. That's the cut we need. That's the cut in a release the air cut. So as you know, in the theatrical cut, he died. In this one, in David Ayer's version of Suicide Squad, Diablo didn't die. So that already marks that there's something pretty uh, different from what you saw in the theaters to what David Ayer intended for you to see. Um, that's not all. Uh, he released a few more things, and this is really just like concept or uh, of that bar scene, and we know there's probably a lot more interaction in the bar scene, possibly between the characters, uh, which it gives a lot more depth. It gives a lot more characters to these characters uh, and, you know, backstories and such. So I'm, I'm ready to see that. Uh, this part, I'm not so clear. I'm wondering if this is a camera or a gun. I think it's a camera or a lens as you look through. Um, Joker there, Joker card, picture of a Joker there. So it's a little bit of his own notes. So David Ayer put, also put that on uh, Instagram stories as well. Today, he released another one. Uh, this is Joker, Jared Leto's Joker, uh, damage, tattoo, and all. Uh, nice black and white. As you know, um, Jared Leto's Joker was not fully explored 
in the theatrical Suicide Squad, not even an extended cut to a certain extent. There was more to him. He was a different character. His relationship with Harley was different than what we seen in the theatrical. It was, it was a much more abusive relationship, not some Romeo and Juliet crap, right? So it's a much more abusive relationship. Also, there is going to be more score in it. There is much. It, it's a more of that Stephen Price score it's instead of the MTV style music pop songs and stuff like that. If you enjoy that, hey, that's good on you. But just telling you that the A-year cut of Suicide Squad is going to have more score, original score from Stephen Price, which is orchestral. So which is this? Which was good because I love movie scores. It's like Batman v Superman. It's like Man of Steel. That's all score you barely hear, if at all any songs so um you know david Ayer's suicide squad would be almost no different right so uh really eager to hear some of that it would set the tone and mood differently uh there's probably a different opening we get a lot more june she's going through the arc like an archaeological adventure with dialogue and everything until she finds enchantress thing right so that they have that stuff too so there's a lot of stuff in David Ear's Suicide Squad, that should certainly interest people who want to see it. And why not? There's nothing going on right now in the theaters. You might as well work on stuff that's in the vault. Might as well bring it out and work on it and give it to the customers so people sign up for HBO Max, especially if we have to wait until 2021 for Zack Snyder's Justice League. So that's why tomorrow, there's something special about tomorrow. Something absolutely special about tomorrow. Release the air cut has this to say. Important. We need to use both hashtags on Monday. Do not be the person who shares one. Sharing both means the newest unused hashtag will trend very easily. This would mean release the air cut would get global attention soon thereafter. We must be strategic. They're going hard on this. They're really going hard. Start time is 8 a.m. to midnight of your local time which is on july 20th so for many of you it's right now as you're watching this right now you're in that event right now so you go ahead and tweet it out uh and use the hashtag right op squad and release the air cut tag these accounts at at and and hbo max right the brief is we are being watched so we must be heard this is our most important event lock and load those gifs right you know get put get all those pictures on board get all those pictures on your phone start doing uh twitter uh start start hashtagging already start setting up those twitter uh um what do you call that that the, you know the where you can go and uh, schedule your tweets i totally forgot what it's called but i still have that video so i may actually you probably see it up here i might be able to add that right here that you can go set up your twitter on twi tweet deck twitter deck right so uh, make sure you do that if you can't be around that time uh, and then start um, hammering those tweets down. Right now, if you're already July 20th between 8 a.m. to midnight, it's still valid. Your mission is a go. Do it now. Let's get it done. Let's bring this one home. We did it for release the Snyder Cut. They are willing. They are listening. And they're willing to put more product and more content in HBO Max. They are desperate for more content in HBO Max. So let's tell them what we want to see on there. Let's tell them what we want to sign up for. And I get you international people. You're saying, we don't have HBO Max. You will, you will. So let's let's load up the let's load up the catalog. Let's load up the library. And by the time HBO Max releases in your country, you won't have to be fighting for cuts. It will already be available for you day one subscription to any part you are in the world. So now is time to fight for it. If they're willing to watch, if they're willing to see us today, today, right? Today, where is it? Today, July 20th, be sure to tweet out these two hashtags together at 
AT&T and an at HBO Max. Let's get this done, guys. Release the air cut. Uh, we need you more than ever. If you ne if you even thought about hashtagging, if you even thought about tweeting, tweeting, but never came around to do it, now is the time to do it. If there's any day that there is a time to do it, it is today or it's tomorrow if July 20th has not reached you yet. And it's probably me because I'm the last cut. I'm the last state in the world, right? I'm this island in the world that's going to be July 20th, the last. But if you're already in July 20th, please, please participate in this monumental event and let's get it done. Release the air cut of Suicide Squad. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'll see you next time.